This is known as the jugular notch of the sternum or manubrium, and that's going to be the joint between the medial end of the clavicle and the sternum here. So I'm just going to pinch around and feel this joint line. So right along here, this joint is called the sternoclavicular joint. And to help prove that I am on the sternoclavicular joint, we can do a couple things. Um, but one of the easiest ones for me to do right now is to try to passively move the clavicle. So if you're not too comfortable with this, this might take a little bit of practice, but I'm going to gently use multiple fingertips and a thumb while feeling that joint line. And I'm going to pull the clavicle up and down a little bit. And that's creating a little bit of what we call passive movement at that joint. Another way to prove that this joint is to move the clavicle, and this is often involved with scapulothoracic motion or the whole shoulder complex. So as I elevate or passively depress, that clavicle is moving up and down. So I'm going to go and put my fingertips back on that joint space, and with my other hand on her elbow right now, I'm just passively lifting up that shoulder, and I can feel the end of the clavicle moving back and forth. So that's a good way to help prove that you're on this sternoclavicular joint.